Good morning, this is Sherry Tomchik and I'm here this morning to vlog about interviewing and hiring for 2019. So it used to be a day where people would bring in their resumes and they'd, they'd pile up on the corner of the desk until a manager or in our case in the long-term care sector, a director of care had an opportunity to go through those resumes and call some people in for an interview. Well, nowadays, it goes without saying, there is a tremendous shortage of talent right across the globe. Uh, we're here in Northern Ontario, and we struggle on a regular basis to find people to join our team to come out and help for the long-term care sector. So what I'm doing today is going to give you some of my top ways that we hire for 2019. Presently in my local Sudbury office, we do about 40 interviews a week, but province-wide, we're doing hundreds of interviews. And a lot of people will ask me, how are we able to do that when the shortage of PSWs is so prevalent and in the media and, and known right across the province? So first of all, what I like to say is when somebody brings you a resume, pay attention to it. So especially if they're bringing it in by hand, uh, take a few minutes at that point to talk to them. Uh, finding out, you know, where they, where they're from, um, why they're looking for a new job, get a little bit of information right at the drop off of the resume. Uh, it'll give you a chance to see what their appearance is like. If they're, if they're, you know, you can look into someone's eyes and see if they're kind, if they, if they want to be there. Um, so, so talking to them right away. And if you receive a resume through your email, I would respond to that one immediately getting them into your place of work for an interview. So the interview has gone well. You've decided that you do want this person to work in your organization. Now, we need to do our due diligence, and so I'm gonna talk a lot about long-term care for this next one, but really, in any sector, we want to make sure that we're getting the best people for the job, and this, this is directly related to the references. So once you are complete, um, or you have completed your interview, make sure to get to those references immediately. Now, we, you know, if you can't get to them immediately, you're going to want to delegate that to somebody in your office that you trust. Or if that person can't get to them immediately, use a reference checking, um, so some reference checking software, um, a reference checking uh, community or company because what happens is if this person's applying for a job they're probably probably applying to lots of jobs so you want to get to those references quickly so if you are trying to get to those references and nobody's responding what I would suggest is you get right back to the applicant and let them know so they can reach out to them and, and uh, remind them that they have indeed volunteered to be a reference for that person so you can get a hold of them the next thing I do, and, and you know, I know employers are doing this quite a bit nowadays, is take a little check on social media. I, you know, I find social media, uh, particularly Facebook, is going to give you a really good idea of who you're hiring on the personal side. And then on the professional side, it'll really give you an idea of how they're representing themselves out there. I don't know if everybody admits that they do that, but I do know that anyone I talk to is saying the same thing is that they go to the social media and just do a little bit of a check for your own, your own good. I have done that before and uh, I've, uh, I've, I've been able to, because of an open, open Facebook page, been able to see that they just, the healthcare system, they were disrespecting their present employer. Well, that's not the person that I want working for my organization. Next, what I would do is if I was really running short, I would look for some external staff to help out while I was trying to strengthen my foundation. And the reason I would do that is because if I'm already running low on staff, I really can't afford to lose any more staff and I need to show the employees I have that I'm seriously interested in taking care of their well-being at work. So making sure that you do have a backup plan. And then lastly, I would really engage my employees on what we can do collectively to increase the amount of people that are applying for our organization. So asking them to tell their friends. Um, sharing job job ads, listening to the employees. Why don't they like working there? Maybe there are things that you can work on internally to fix together so that you can attract more people. But really, really engaging your existing staff so they know 
you're working hard and that they understand that part of the recruitment process also falls on them. So those are a few of my tips for hiring for 2019. If you have any more you'd like to add, please add them below when you comment and please share this video. Thanks for, for tuning in.